Capistrano. Thanks for riding along with us as we explore another trail somewhere west of Wall Street. Today, we're at San Juan Capistrano at the beautiful Mission. When the swallows come back to Capistrano. There were a total of 21 Spanish missions founded in California between 1769 and 1833. The missions were part of the first major effort by Europeans to colonize the Pacific Coast region, which was the most northern and western of Spain's North American claims. And among those missions was Mission San Juan Capistrano. San Juan Capistrano was not the first mission founded by the Spanish in California, but it is possibly the most well known. People from all over the world come here with the idea that they're going to visit an old place and they leave changed or inspired. The students that we see on our low-income student scholarship program often don't see something as beautiful as the Sarah Chapel. And for them, many of them, it's their chance to go to church and leave with something a little bit different, just to have the best day in their life here up to that point. So we do have mass and the schedule and all of that and the sacraments are still celebrated here. And that's definitely important. But more important perhaps is our reach to create the discussion of how these places are relevant and how they can serve as a place of hope and respite for people that have troubles in the heart that they may not be able to talk about. Take that old chapel, for example. Uh, and it was built prior to the earthquake? Yes. And so, as I look at that stone structure, they did all of that with just the labor of the Native Americans mm -hmm. and what few people that they could bring with them, but right. that uh, were competent at building like that, but the architecture and the construction is phenomenal. You know, the Great Stone Church is really a testament to tragedy and a, a storytelling of the people that built it, lived here, and died and perished in the earthquake of 1812. It's a living memorial and a testament to the past. But when you think about the divide in language and culture and how do you build a stone structure today, no city would give you a building permit to build a stone building like that. Yeah. And now they stand as a testament to the past. It's quite amazing. And when you think about that the rocks had to be brought in and how did they get the materials together. And now it stands as a place where many people get moved spiritually or inspired architects, planners, students all have a different intersection with that building, but it'll always be a place of peace and reverence for the mission. Come back to Capistrano.